When choosing an aquarium to house your African cichlids, it's important to consider the eventual size of the species you're planning to keep. This ensures that you provide a happy and healthy environment for all the fish under your care. I always try to get as large an aquarium as possible. The larger the water volume, the more stable the ecosystem. Over time, this will aid you in providing pristine water conditions for your fish. Finally, it's all about the footprint. The larger the footprint, the more overlapping territories of various species you'll be able to keep, as well as the canvas that it provides will ensure that you have a natural looking aquarium when it comes to the aquascaping. If you've ever watched the TV series Tanked, you know that the only limitations in the choice of an aquarium is budget and imagination. In this episode, we'll cover the two most commonly available options. One is the all glass aquarium. It's able to be custom made to whatever spec or size that you need it, as well as have any additional equipment included in the design. The other option is the ready to go commercially available unit found at your local fish shop. This is the Aqua One 300, part of the Reef series. It's a nice tidy unit that fits with the interior design of most houses. It's got a medium sized sump filter which has increased water volume as well as large filtration capacity. Now it's designed for salt water so you need to provide additional equipment such as a circulation pump to actually push debris all the way to the surface so that it can make its way to the filter. Another aspect to remember is that it has a smallish footprint so species selection needs to be considered. Other than that it's a great tidy unit that takes the guesswork of adding a sump filter out of the equation. My preferred option is the custom built all glass aquarium. This way you're able to decide on the size and volume of the tank. You're also able to decide on the specifications and whether or not you want to add a sump. This tank holds 650 litres and has a nice big base footprint allowing us a large species selection. The large water volume provides a nice stable ecosystem for the fish ensuring that they're happy and healthy. When considering the size of the aquarium it's important to remember the weight of the aquarium when filled as well as the structural integrity of your dwelling. The last thing you want is to have a catastrophe. This is an extremely large footprint on a tank and it's allowed us to use very, very large rock work. Some of the pieces weighing almost 35 kilograms. Now one of the most important factors for me is, is the bracing of the aquarium. You want it to be structurally sound, but you also want it to allow you to put large pieces of either rock work or logs into the tank. So this tank is just barely enough for us to get the pieces in without having to cut them down any further than we have to. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you catch the next one, which will all be about filtration on our large Rift Valley show tank. Creating natural looking aquariums that are easy to maintain.